Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Goaltend 2.2, which was just released today. It does come with a new feature, which is Goaltend Cheat Server. Um, basically, it's the same as PS4 Trainers and your WebRTE. Um, it's basically just has it integrated with it and as for the cheats you can go ahead and just download them and put them in your cheat folder um, we're going to jump into it I will explain how to do everything but uh, yeah we'll just go ahead and jump on Chameleon's Twitter here he did uh, post a link for the download we're just going to go ahead and jump on that and see the new features so we'll go ahead and check out Sistro's GitHub and if we do scroll down it does have the features here they're pretty much the same I don't think anything in here has changed but if we go down to the change log we can see edit cheat menu um, it is still is experimental um, so you may get problems with it um, as what I've seen so far everything seems to be working pretty good but uh, yeah we'll jump into it for ourselves and uh, try it out so there's a number of places you can go ahead and try out uh, Gold 10 2.2. Lots of hosts. We're going to be using Chameleon's host. Uh, we'll keep it the same. Chameleon also gave us a link for the cheat database. Um, it's just a bunch of JSON files. Um, you can pretty much create your own. Um, if you do jump on PS4 trainers, get the codes, and then uh, it does show here exactly how it's done. Um, your title, your version, your format, and then so on. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it, guys, here. Um, I've already went ahead and downloaded it, but we do need to go ahead with the jailbreak first so we can enable our FTP server, and then we can transfer over the, the cheats. So let's go ahead and jump over to our PS4. Okay, guys, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll jump over to our settings. And as you can see, I don't have Goal 10 options, and if we do scroll down, I don't have the debug settings. Now we'll go up to our, our network, and we just want to make sure we do have Connect to the Internet checked, and we are connected to the Internet. Now we'll go ahead and back out, and we'll go ahead and launch our browser. Now we're going to do the usual here, close that first window, go ahead and delete all our frequently used pages, go into our browser history, clear that as well, and then finally go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. Now the reason why we're doing that is just because we don't have Goal 10 2.2 in our cache and we just want to uh, get the updated files. So we'll go into our bookmarks and we're going to be using Chameleon's host. So we'll go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments to load. It will start installing the cache. It is the cache just for the initial page. So once we do get in, we can go ahead and select Auto Chameleon 900 and it will install the cache for that as well but like the previous one it doesn't take long at all as you can see 30 percent 40 percent and it just keeps on going up pretty quick here um, at this point you can go ahead and get your USB ready because after the cache is installed it will go through the process of doing the jailbreak and we will need to insert our USB when we do get the message okay so it's loading the menu now just give it a few seconds it will pop up to insert that USB shouldn't take long at all any moment now there we go so go ahead and insert it and then we'll just wait for the message to pop up on supported file system like the previous one it doesn't take long there we go so we'll go ahead and hit OK and jailbreak is done so we can go ahead and remove our USB as we don't need it anymore we'll go ahead and hit OK and then once we do get in we can go ahead and launch Goal 10 2.2 which is the latest and there we go, Goal 10 2.2 loaded. So I've already got the uh, FTP checked, so as you can see it does come up. Just take note of the IP address as well as the port. And like I said previously, we don't need the WebRTE anymore to launch these cheats. Uh, it's already integrated with the Goal 10. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And we'll go over to our settings. Go to our Goal 10. And if you don't already have your FTP checked, go ahead and just check it. And just take note of your IP address. As for the port, it's always going to be 2121 when you go ahead and check it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer now. And we'll FTP our cheats onto the data folder. Okay, so now we're over to the computer. We can go ahead and extract our cheats file. Let's go ahead and extract 
to cheats and it should do it right on the desktop. So if we go ahead and open it up, we will have our adjacent folder with all our cheats in it. So let's go ahead and just back out of there. We can close that out now. We're going to go ahead and open up our FTP program. I will be using Flash FXP, uh, but any program will work. Just go ahead and hit accept there. And we'll go up and connect. So I do have it in my history. Um, we go to quick connect though. And as you can see, it's just the IP address with the port, which is 2121. Go ahead and hit connect. And if you see on the desk or the main route here, you do have a data folder. Go in through there, goal 10, and then cheats, and then your JSON folder here. There is the other way you can go ahead and do it, which is the same location, uh, which is user, data, goal 10, cheats, and then your JSON folder. So we'll go ahead and, and select on our desktop on the other side here. Go into our cheats folder and then our JSON. Go ahead and just do control A for selecting all. And then you go ahead and hit transfer. Now it shouldn't take too long. Um, I believe that there is, well you can see right there, 586 files. So it will take a little bit of time. So we'll let that go and we'll be back once it's done. Okay guys, so we did finish. Um, all our files are copied over. If we go ahead and back out of there and back completely out. Go into our data folder, goal tent, oh, goal tent cheats, and then our JSON folder. Um, if you do just a quick refresh, you can see that they've all been added there as well. That is one way we can go ahead and get them transferred over. I will show you a second way as well. Okay, so on to the second method, which is probably going to be the easiest for everyone. Uh, NASCII did create a program which enables you to grab that cheats file from Chameleon's host. It does the extraction for you and then lets you upload it to your PS4. Now your FTP needs to be enabled, but yeah, other than that there, it's so simple. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and check out NASCII and download the Gold Cheater. Go ahead and click on it, and it brings you over to his GitHub, and you can just go ahead and download the EXE. Now, I've already went ahead and downloaded the EXE. We'll just go ahead and open it up. And it's a pretty simple program, not much to it. As you can see, it does create a JSON folder up here. If we go ahead and update the cheats, you can see it does download the chameleons cheats and then extracts it and brings it into your JSON folder. From here, just go ahead and type in your IP address, which is the same when you're connecting to your FTP. So mine's 10.0.0.235. And then you can go ahead and just upload all cheats to PS4. Now it does give you a warning that it will overwrite the existing cheats. Just say yes to it. And then as for anything, just don't touch anything. Let it finish. It will give you a message when it is complete. Um, it doesn't take long. Um, there is, in this case, I think there's like 500 and some cheats. It, so it doesn't really take long. As we get more cheats, it may take a little longer. But uh, just be patient with it. Um, another thing key thing. I did have a problem with Windows 10. Um, downloading the XE, Windows 10 went crazy thinking it was a virus or whatnot. Um, you can go ahead and just ignore all them. The source code is there if you want to go ahead and check out the source code. Um, if we go ahead and bring it up here. Source code's right here. You can go ahead and download the source, check it out, comply it yourself if you want. Um, but I assure you there's no, uh, there's no viruses in it. Just Windows doesn't recognize the uh, the developer so but yeah once you do get it downloaded um, I think NASCI will update this here with maybe a progress bar just to let you know how much is done um, as of right now there's no progress but it does come up with a message I tested it a few times just to make sure everything does work and uh, yeah everything does work so give it a few more seconds we should see a message pop up shouldn't take much longer um, but yeah, like I said, once the cheats do get more, if we do get up to a thousand or so, it will take a little longer. Um, it's around the 500 mark, I think the high 500s. So we'll give it a few more seconds here. And 
and yeah, there we go, cheats sent. So once you do see that message, you can go ahead and hit OK. Everything is done. Go ahead and close out the program and let's jump over to the PS4 now. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, the game we'll be using is the Cold War. Um, one of the features I'd like to see later on is if you go ahead and hit options if the cheat menu came up without the game being launched. So that way you can see what cheats are available before you go ahead and launch the game. But uh, let's go ahead and launch it so we can get the cheat menu up. Um, shouldn't take long as long as the screen is loaded and you can jump back to the main screen you can go ahead and access the cheat menu. So if we go ahead and hit options now you can see the cheat menu is up there now and the three cheats that we do have available are infinite health infinite money and infinite ammo. Now I'm not going to go ahead and enable them yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and get loaded into zombies and then we'll go ahead and launch them. So let's go ahead and back into there and we'll go ahead and bring up our game here. Give it a few moments here just to get loaded. And then once we do get into the main screen we'll launch up zombies. Okay, so it's loading and the screen should come up. We should better skip this little part here. We'll jump into zombies and we'll go ahead and create a match. Um, we'll just change the game mode here. Round base, firm, and then we'll change the map. Die machine's fine. That's perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and hit play. Give it a few moments here just to load up the match. Now there's two ways to get into the cheat menu. You can go ahead and just hit your PlayStation button, uh, hit options, and then go to cheat menu. And it does bring up the cheats. Um, the quicker way though is if you're into the game, just go ahead and hold your share button in. And it will bring up the cheats. And from here you can just go ahead and enable them. It does come up with a message to let you know that they are enabled. Um, as you can see, infinite money, and then our infinite ammo should come up as well. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and skipped ahead, just so that way uh, we'd speed it up some. But we are in now. You can see our money's at 1302376. Go ahead and open up a door here. Um, and as you can see, our money does not go down. Go ahead and shoot our bullets. Ammo does not go down as well. Check our infinite health. And as you can see... We do not die. So I'm going to leave the video at that, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Like, it really helps out the channel. Uh, also lets other people see the video as well. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.